Queen. You're so pregnant. Did you have a good night's sleep? I've been separating Levy at night just in case she goes into labor. She has her babies. I figure she probably doesn't want Coco's babies jumping all over her. She's super comfortable with Coco, but Coco's babies may not know to just leave her alone. I got all of that out of the hay to show it to you guys. I'm pretty sure it's milkweed. I know what milkweed looks like when it's out in the field. I've never seen it dry, but this is what I would imagine it would look like dry. It has this thick single stalk. It has the broad leaves. Anyway, this looks like what I would imagine milkweed would look like when it's dry. That was just in that one flake. Look at all that. I think there's still some more on the ground over here that I got rid of. I'm not positive that that's milkweed, but if it is, I don't want it in there because milkweed is toxic to goats. Now I did some reading and if they just nibble on it, get a little bit in their mouth, it's not gonna hurt them. It may like irritate their mouth, but if they eat, you know, a significant amount, I don't think it has to be much. It didn't say how much it means significant. So in my mind, that means I don't want them to eat any. Um, does it mean three leaves? Does it mean one stalk? Does it mean, you know, a whole bale of milkweed? <sighs> Either way, I don't want them to have any of it. You know, our guy, our hay guy told us he doesn't spray and now I believe him because there's milkweed in the hay. One benefit of having non-sprayed hay is that you can feel really good about composting it and you can feel really good about drinking the milk. However, you do take the chance of there being toxic plants in there. So you have to take a little bit more effort and go through and each flake and make sure that you're not feeding poisonous plants to your animals. And that whole chair full right there looks like a significant amount to me. That's what would have been in their hay just this morning. Hey, good. Look at these little guys playing. Not so little anymore, they're huge. Lovey, I know that you want to be with everyone. You're not a big fan of Flopsy. I've noticed that when she comes in the stall, you go out. And I want you to have your babies in the stall. Come on. Bye, sweet Lovey. See you in a little while. Those baby goats are hilarious. Did you see them jumping over their mom? 
It's always good to familiarize yourself with the toxic plants that live in your area. I know a few for us that grow in the pasture are milkweed and Carolina horse nettle. We're always looking for the milkweed and the berries for Carolina horse nettle when we are going through our hay.